Hello and welcome to Lawrence plays through his um, Steam backlog. This game is Scanner Sombra, which is um, a, sort of, a sort of walking simulator where we uh, go through rummaging around in a uh, in a cave, but with an interesting twist. So we're going to go through, we're going to run through and um, bicker and and debate about my about my gameplay here. And I've got uh, Demon here with me. Say hello. Hello. I uh, host the channel I Ask Gaming, by the way. <laughs> So he's going to be doing the next video, and we'll, um, we'll we'll sort of take it in turns. So here we go. I've picked up this sort of novelty scanner device that sprays out a burst of laser laser beams, and they all cause they essentially stick particles to the wall wherever they wherever they touch. So I can see it sprays out laser beams which light up the walls, so I can tell where where the walls are, and then hopefully navigate my way through the cave. Yeah, it actually reminded me a little bit of the long dark when you was inside the tent. I was thinking it was going to be that type of... <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no, there's no sort of survival type mechanics in it. It is it is just a walking simulator. Whilst you can die if you fall into a bottomless ravine or something like that, um, it, you then just respawn at the at the last checkpoint. Um, okay, so, so, so what have you, what, what's, what's the objective? Is it like a maze game? It's... I mean, I'm I'm doing a rather poor job of finding my way through it. So there's, there's, there's a couple of points where I get lost. Um... But most of the time, it's sort of it's walk through and experience the slightly creepy plot. And there were some bits of it that were really quite creepy. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, and but I, the um, I think the the basic idea behind the game is is very interesting and unusual. Um, and yeah, and the, obviously the the colours, as you can probably tell, are based on how far away the thing is. And you can also see through walls as well if they're not completely covered in splodges. So when I look back over my shoulder that way, you can see the blue of where I started. Ah, okay. This would be really fun to actually, you know, see after you've had a few beers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been out cycling and drinking, so um, it is. <laughs> or a VR headset. <laughs> yes, the, 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 I think the game does support VR, and that would be absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, that's not something I have. There we go. So it's looking through the walls and, and seeing sort of the distant areas that you've come from. I don't know if the myths were true. It just said a minute ago. Yeah, so there is a sort of a plot going on. A apparently, the, there was some sort of cult to use this cave as a place of cultingness. <laughs> cultingness. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's how culting works, right? <laughs> yeah, so I, I was quite enjoying the um, the weirdness of the graphics and how you can sort of just paint the splodges onto the wall. And the... one thing that surprised me a little bit, I was expecting. Uh, so as you can obviously tell, the blue blue is further away, red is closer. Um, but I was sort of expecting it to stay as it was when you sprayed it onto the wall, rather than change colour as you got nearer or further. And I don't know whether that would have been more or less trippy. But as yeah, it is, it's... that must be a lot of processing that's going on to actually move to actually do that as you're moving through that many. I don't know. Um, it it ran without absolutely flawlessly the whole time. I mean, my my computer isn't isn't amazing, um, but I guess it's just it's just a lot of little coloured voxels. It's maybe it's not. I, I I don't know. How did you end up with this game anyhow? I have no idea. So, so <laughs> as I was saying, when we were sort of coming up with the idea for this uh, series, I've got a lot of games that I picked up from humble bundles and things like that, um, and I suspect that's probably where it came from. Oh, in fact, um, oh, here's a couple of mounted um, laser zappy things to sort of say, look, you're in a massive room now. Here's a. Oh, okay, interesting. What does that do? They they just they were just they just sat there and put out some laser pulses to give me the the clue that I was in a big area and should probably explore it a bit. Ah, okay, okay. So oh, interesting. There's bridges and things. It's like a it's like they took a 3D map and basically made them invisible and you're basically spray painting onto them. Yes, I think that's. I imagine that's exactly how it did it. Oh, and then, here we go. I picked up another tool for the um, for the gun now, which allows me to go from wide angle to narrow beam, um, so you can spray it around wildly across the whole area to get a general idea of the place. Or you can do, or you can focus it in on a narrower um, beam to get to get the details. Uh, if you're trying to work out exactly where the bridge is and where the hole in the bridge is and that sort of thing. Interesting. Yeah, it was. I have it was very I've never, see, never seen anything like it. <laughs> no, me either. I was part of. The, to be honest, when I was looking through it, it was part of the reason I picked it because it looked weird and yeah, interesting. It's made by um, Introversion. Oh, this is one of the sort of slightly creepy bits. Um, suddenly there's a sort of human, and I really love that effect in the background behind him, where I, I sprayed him with a load of the the things, and then you can see the shadow on the wall behind. <laughs> I, I expected a plot point to come up there. 
No, I think this is just sort of establishing creep. Yeah, there we go. There's the shadow behind him. Um, I think this is just establishing creepiness at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so it's made by um, Introversion, who've made a number of other quite interesting games. Uh, they made Darwinia and um, Defcon, which you, you might have heard of. Um, uh... And those are both sort of weird concepts that that turned into really quite good games. So when I saw I got another one of their games to play, it seemed like a, 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 almost a no-brainer. The jumping physics is a bit dodgy. I got stuck on rocks a few times trying to jump over them. <laughs> um, but God. I'm nitpicking a little bit. It didn't really matter. It was just mildly annoying. And I got lost a couple... As I said, I got lost a couple of times. I think this might be one of those times. So you I would be spend in. my life lost in this type of environment. <laughs> <laughs> I do... I have no idea how much it costs to get it in the normal way, but if you if you are curious, I mean, it, and it's and it's sort of suitably cheap. I reckon it's probably only got a couple of hours of gameplay in it, um, but I would I did enjoy it. It was it was a creepy plot and a sort of a, and, a, and a weird, interesting mechanic. And yeah, I I, I reckon according to one of the um, achieve, achievementy type things when I quit, I think I think the save game said I was about fifty percent of the way through after an hour and a half of play. So it's not oh, a huge so it's game, really... but it's. Um, I bet, I bet it amazingly took quite a long time for this level design. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, it's, I imagine it's a lot like designing a normal level, except you don't have to worry about textures. There are, yeah, there's going to be a few other things you have to think about, of course, because it's, you have to think about the shapes more, I guess. But the, um, and there's, there's a lot of normal level design feel in it, and there's, uh, I'm trying to work out how to do something with the person to get through. But a lot of it is just. Oh, you have to interact with the. All right. <laughs> no, I wondered if you did, but I, uh, yeah, I, could, I couldn't interact with them, so it's just I was a bit, as I said, a bit lost at this point. And I think I probably eventually did the uh, the maze thing you do when you just walk walk along the edge of it until you. Oh, here we go. I found the way out. Uh, um, just yeah. just keep following the left wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly pretty. Yeah, and I think pretty and unique and somewhat psychedelic. <laughs> Could you imagine taking some LSD and then playing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mind you, every game looks like this after that, probably. Because <laughs> <laughs> it'd be LSD squared. Yeah. <laughs> LSD simulator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sometimes I go along and I sort of spray the edges of, um, of places. If I, wanted to, if I wanted to work out exactly where the edge was, I sort of put, go onto the narrow nozzle and then just spray the edge to try and find out where I could go. And then spray a bit more wildly around a cave like this to try and find... Just to get so a, a general feel for it. So I suppose if you were really lost, you could like really solid, solidly paint every wall. Yes, that's yeah. You definitely can, and and you get later on, it's like minor spoiler, you get tools to help you do that sort of thing, as because the uh, the levels get a little bit more intricate. But at the moment, it's these sort of man-made columns, and then the stalactites um, as well. Oh, there you go. And every so often, you pick up something that gives you little 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 tips or upgrades for the uh, for the beam gun. So there was one that gave me the aperture thing. Now there's this one that allows me to zoom in. Do you know the actual backstory of it? I mean, you said it was a cult and everything like that, but what are you? Are you, are you a cult member or? There's so you're a, a caver and it's just someone, some guy who's exploring. Um, I think you perhaps know a little bit about the area, and there's little bits that get dropped through the box text that pops up. Um, but I think you're exploring this cave that's been empty for a unknown amount of time, and you've either brought I think you've either brought this tool with you, and it's it's new, brand new and super high resolution and nothing quite like it existed before or you've just found it there and it's a bit unexplained um, the fact that you find upgrades to it around the place makes me lean more towards the um, it's just a random tool you yeah. find but I don't know whether that makes sense with the um, the cave has been untouched for a thousand years thing must be aliens <laughs> perhaps <laughs> come on you uh, use, the, use the obvious plot twist if you don't know it's aliens <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Arnold Rimmer oh god I could have at least sounded like Crichton or Lister. <laughs> no, Rimmer was the one who was obsessed with aliens. Oh, that's right, with a bloody toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> when we it's got three ages. toilet rolls in one day, you thought it was aliens and that sort of thing. <laughs> it's been ages yeah. since I watched Red Dwarf. I love yeah, that. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> but it was it was a very formative part of my years. Uh, part of my very formative years. Probably. And then there's very creepy things like that. And me panicking and running away when it happened. Did you catch that? Yes, just I must admit that I do think we need to need to do a little bit more tweaking on our delivery system for this. You mean just you're because, are you a little bit behind me? Um, I, I don't think I'm behind you because uh, I'm getting hard dropping. I'm getting about three frames per second. 
Oh, right. And because of how complex and colourful this is... That's not really working. Okay. It's not too bad. I can, I, I, I can, it's, it's clear, but it's like, it's like seeing lots of images really quickly flashing by rather than... Rapid slideshow, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but so I've got a good idea what's going on. And with it being a first-person pers pers perspective, it's a bit... Um, Probably a bit trippy because I'm moving around a lot more than I would be with anything else. There we go. That's the uh, looking through the wall effect again. That was um, always quite interesting. Seeing seeing the area you've come just been from a slightly different perspective. If anyone if anyone does actually decide to give this a watch, by the way, and have some ideas on how to share a video completely seamlessly to someone else with no latency, please let us know. <laughs> we may have to go for um, YouTube next time for, for so we can both watch it at, not at decent speed, which is a bit of a yeah. shame because that's that. Then you have the tricky the tricky part of pressing play at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I really am. I'm thinking it over. There's got to be some way of doing this. It can't be that difficult. Oh, this we bit, can... I was stuck here for ages, trying to work out how to get across this chasm. Was that a case or something? Yes, on the other side, that's another upgrade for the beam gun thing. Um, so I know that's obviously where I have to go, because there's a pickup over there. Uh, but that's obviously too far, also obviously too far to jump. So can I'm you... trying to work out how to get across. Can you die if you fall off? Or... Yes, but um, as I discover in a moment. <laughs> um, but if you, if you die, you just go back to a, a checkpoint that's sort of a few seconds later. You see, here we go. I'm using the tight beam mode to just make sure I've not missed an edge of the um, of, of the walkways anywhere. Oh. Um, just trying to work out how to get across there. And eventually I thought, maybe a leap of faith. It didn't work so well. <laughs> so yes, it turns out you can die if you fall off, um, but you then just respawn not far back, so... Oh, oh, and it undoes all of the light you've done since you got there, which is a minor pain, but yeah, never mind. So, a bit more spraying. Spray and pray. Uh, can you do... What can you do? Run around the wall or something? Um, I did eventually find find out how to get past here. It was... Yeah, you, you can't jump over there. That's not, not possible. It turns out there's a... Um, there's a, a, a um, walkway along the edge of it that I just hadn't seen because, you know, it was dark. <laughs> Do you think you're going to finish the game off? Probably, yes. I might. What I might do is wait and see how much enthusiasm this video gets. And if, there's, if loads of people really like it, then I'll do another episode of it and probably finish it off in, that, in, in the second episode. Um, hmm. If it just gets sort of three views and no comments and nobody seems to really care about it, then I might just finish it in my own time and not bother recording it. Or just record it and then have it in, in case I decide to, to add something on later. I don't know. I think that's something we could probably do with this, um, with these videos though, is if, if something does seem to catch on really well, if one game does do exceptionally well, then perhaps consider doing a second a second episode of it. Oh yeah, well the thing is, uh, a few of the ones that I've got in my selection Here we go, box... here's the, uh, here's the oh, way through. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's a thin ledge. It is. <laughs> the uh, character seems to be, that's probably why I didn't spot it, but the um, the character is quite good at just hanging, at walking along narrow edges. It does keep making. I'm waiting for it to do it. Um, dropping stone noises, like that. Oh no, that's a, that's a glitching noise. That's even even more creepy. So there's a um, yeah, that's the that's the figure I spotted before, falling into the chasm. Ah, okay. Along with sort of creepy noises and creepy effects and just generally. Just generally trying to be terrifying, I think. <laughs> um, and yeah, every so often you get the sort of crumbling stone noises as well, as if the uh, the surfaces you're walking around on are, fall are falling away underneath you, and you're going to fall. I wonder if it's trying to pull off horror or it's trying to pull off mystery. I think it's meant to be more more mystery, but definitely a creepy and occasionally occasionally scare you mystery. Hmm. Uh, it it didn't feel full on horror, but it was a mystery horror. <laughs> Yeah. You through the wall there, I think. Yeah, it, the, the clipping was a little bit funny sometimes. Um, oh, here we go. Here's, here's the upgrade. What is that case thing anyway? It's a pelly case with a with a with a laser zapper thing on top of it. So you go, that's the the burst effect that allows you to just spray out a huge and cover a huge area in one go. So it's a good way of you come you find your way into a big room and you just want to explore the whole thing. You can tune with that and light everything up. Um, like that. There we go again. It reminds me of um, the... Oh, God. On Star Trek, there was a Dreadnought class that had the sp 
phased spinal lance, the really big um, laser gun. Oh, okay. It kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> <laughs> it also makes the... Uh, when, after, after you fire it, it takes a little while to charge back up again, and you can see the the, the BST bar in the bottom left grow. Um, but it also makes, it makes a sound like a, a camera flash charging back up again. <laughs> Pro <it> grows. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's quite if nice. Not... There's there's no sort of limit on ammunition and how much of this stuff you can spray around. I wondered at one point if it would be a nice uh, mechanic to have have it sort of gradually overheat if you overused it. But actually, I think I think just letting you spray as much as you want is the you right way it... to do it with something like you this. You know what it feels like? It almost feels like this shouldn't be a game on its own right. It was like almost a, like a tech demo, kind of like a, the basis for something bigger. Mm. Yeah, and I think I think a few games have come from that sort of origin um portal was based on the narbacular drop uh which was basically a tech demo that some company produced and then they got all of the people who worked for it got employed by valve to make portal oh and if you oh. move while you're doing the spray thing it um causes some weird effects as well like that yeah, yeah it is a... it, it does feel a little bit it, like like it like they had a tech demo and then they put a story on it and that's, i suppose actually yes same mentioning portal portal itself is a little bit like that you've got the um it's quite a short game. You've got the novelty of portals, and then they've they've hung up just hung a, a simple plot around it, and then humour as well, of course, which uh, is part of the reason we all love it so much. Portal. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it hold was, on. We never, it, we never finished our portal run through. No, we didn't. We should do that sometime. <laughs> I forgot. I utterly forgot about that. I've got no idea how you even resume the save for that. Apparently, if you just if you start off with the same people, who I fell off again. Um, if you start off with the same people in the same game, it just carries on with all of what you've done already done. Is this the BST gun? Uh, BST is the burst fire when it does the sort of the big ah. wide spray thing. I was just looking on the bottom left of the screen and spotted it, and I was like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that has a, a bar that that has a sort of recharge bar in it to tell you when your um, burst mode is recharged and ready to use. So you see, it's gone gone bright yellow. And now it's ah, right. blank and is... Oh, for goodness sake. Jump out. Learn to jump, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard. Oh. Apparently it is that hard. Never be a Quake 2 player. <laughs> Probably not. I'm not... I have to admit, I'm not very good at first-person shooters. Um, that said, I did find the jump mechanic... The jump in this game was a bit... Tricksy, like a hobbit. Um, uh, what, it, what is, does it do that thing where it kind of doesn't jump when you want it to? Like a delay? Yes, it felt like it. I don't know whether it feels like a delay or whether it's because I was pressing it at the wrong time. But it, <laughs> it's one of those things where I think some games will do a thing where they they predict you slightly, or when you press a jump, it it decides you jumped half a second before or something like that. And maybe it's just that this one doesn't doesn't cheat for you like that. Um, I don't I don't really know, but I I had trouble with the jump in, on it in a, a few times. Uh, it, but it didn't really matter because most of the time you weren't trying to pla you, you weren't trying to play it like a platformer. Ah, that makes sense. I do like it when it fades out to that blue in the background. That's quite. Yes. I like that colour. That sort yeah, of deep it's nice. purple. And, it, it, and the way the reds... I don't know whether the reds are brighter because they're closer and therefore bigger dots. Or just... Um, or whether they're actually brighter as well. But, it, yeah, it means that the sort of the distant things tend to fade out a bit as well, which is quite nice. Hmm. Oh, anyway, I was, I was going to say that about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, some of the games in my um, trick bag was actually games that I was going to make series of, so I'm quite curious <laughs> exactly okay. what this has received. Uh, one yeah, and it's, is... maybe it's a good way of just starting a series then, and then if you... I mean, with YouTube playlists, a video can be in more than one playlist, so if it doesn't... If it, if it catches on and you want to make more, you could always just have it as episode one of that playthrough. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll just see how, that, I mean, how, it, how it goes. This, this, I mean, this, this could be a way of just seeing what sort of games people are interested in as well. Uh, what 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 tickles YouTube's fancy? <laughs> and you get really Indeed. weird effects, as I said, when you move and use the uh, the burst at the same time. It almost looks like the Matrix trippy. screen there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When everything's about green distance away. Sometimes you you get to the point where you're not quite sure if there's a wall over there or not, so you spray it a bit just to see if you're seeing through nothing or whether it is actually just whether you're seeing through the wall or it's. Just, there we go. So you're saying the temple's a thousand years old. It's um, plot of a bit of it. Yeah, the cultists have always... He's been searching for the cultists for his whole life. And uh, he's finally managed to find the temple and explore it. Is there any cultists still alive? 
<laughs> that would be spoilers. Kind of curious. <laughs> These look like, um, yeah, tree tree branches. But again, it's the they've done quite a good job of making the, the shapes recognisable and sort of organic and yeah stuff. With when you even when they're just sort of covered in a spray of coloured dots. I'm oh, quite yeah, impressed got... with the, with the feel of this. Because you've got no texture, have you, or anything? No. There goes. Oh. One of their um. Is it Satan? Some sort of graven <laughs> idol, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't. And you can make out that, the, and I could make out that those were steps as well, for example. So there's quite a lot of there's more detail than you expect there to be, I guess. You can you can. And I, I think it's out. because it's because of the shadows from where wherever you fire the um. There's another creepy Satan. I figured out who it is. It's Satana from Finland Simulator. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, it's, it's the shadows of what... Where, so if, if you did literally cover every surface, then you'd lose a lot of the texturing effects, and the, or the shape effects, rather. But because you're running in one direction and the gun is slightly offset, you get shadows behind things, so, when, so you can see the, the shape of the steps because there's the, the shadows along the tops of them. And you yeah, because you throw it, you throw it. Oh, light direction. This was where they performed the sacrifices. Oh. There were some weird ass nooses. <laughs> yes. There's quite a lot of those sort of slightly, yeah, weird shaped nooses, as you say, and I'm not quite sure what they're all meant to be, but, um. Yeah, and then there's a lot there's of the, ultra, out ultra ultra the outline of a set of ladies' pants or something. <laughs> with a little droopy bit at the bottom. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It would be... Ooh, and is that another pickup? I think it was. Um, yeah, it would be quite interesting to, to afterwards to run through this world with some sort of simple, relatively simple textures on everything and a, presumably a fairly, some sort of fairly flat lighting just so you can see what it looks like and if there's anything you missed when you were going through. Oh, this looks like a game where there's a lot of secrets. Yeah, I had a, a quick glance at some of the sort of Steam comments on the uh, on the store page, and there were people saying they've played it again, looking around in all the nooks and crannies. That said, I did a little bit of trying to look in nooks and crannies, and didn't really f feel like I was finding very much that I was that I hadn't already noticed. Now it's being creepy again. Hey, we was talking about rumor earlier. Was that his H? <laughs> <laughs> oh, an overview map. A, yes, there's a map view as well, which is a. Uh, I didn't find it. Didn't find it that useful, to be honest. Um, pretty, yes, but not all that useful. Yeah, I mean, it'd be worth having this game just to generate some really cool backgrounds. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I noticed that this um, chasm up here, where apparently they threw people off after sacrificing them or whatever, goes down to the chasm I was looking at earlier that I fell into a couple of times trying to get across. So it's um, it's directly above it. So it is actually it does appear to be the same chasm. Ah. Which is uh, a nice touch, Re I thought. Reckon you can park all yourself down or up? <laughs> <laughs> up, definitely not. Down, well, you if you got it right, just right, you might you might find you can land on the other part. Oh, God, that really thin path. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry? That really thin path. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There we go, uh. I found a, yeah, another, another of those walkways. So you, you seem to be escalating through... Um, this complex. So, I mean, did you keep going up? Is this all one giant map for the entire game? It's yeah. As far as I got was it. it, it uh, there was no. I mean, there were occasional twiddly things appearing in the corner of the screen that were either loading or saving icons. I think possibly saving icons. Um, but there was no, there were no visible loading areas. And when you go out to the map view, you can see the entire place from from the tent you spawn in all the way to. Well, I got as I said, I got halfway through the game. Um, I can see all the way. I can see everywhere I've been. So I think it is just one big map. And I guess with the lack of texturing and probably not needing that detailed a level of um, geometry, you probably could make quite a big map of without need without and fit it all in memory without too much difficulty. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's not like there's an incredible amount of interactivity or anything either. No, nothing, nothing moved or anything like that. It was all completely static. Um, there are uh, occasional sort of creepy human humanoid figures uh, aside. It was completely completely static. Um, I got lost for quite a long time in here trying to. This is the prison cells of the um, of, of the uh, 
monastery, cultist. What's a cultist monastery? Is there a word for it? Whatever it is, the cultist monastery. <laughs> anyway, this is the prison cells of it, um, according to the map and the fact that there's bars everywhere. No, no, um, they're, they're, they're the pre-cleansing chambers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the map, if you zoomed in as well, the map became absolutely awful and just blew your screen out, which is a bit rubbish. Um, just lit up too brightly to, for it to be usable for anything. <clears throat> So I spent ages here noticing there was a Prison 6 listed on there, and I'd been into all of the other ones, and therefore that was presumably the place I needed to go. So I spent a while trying to get over the rocks here, and yeah, this this was the second point where I got lost and just was going, what, where do I go? I don't understand for a, an embarrassingly long time. So, um... Oh, it's added the actual date of the temple onto the map. Oh, yes, yes, there was something that said a thousand years old or something like that, yes. Uh, the the map updated a couple of times with adding extra bits onto it, so there's a monastery mentioned on it as well somewhere, um, as well as the cultist temple. Is does date play any significance in this? Not as far as I'm aware. I think it is just flavor text to um, to, to give you to, give, to the, as far as the plot of the game is concerned, essentially. Um, and yeah, so there it does seem there is some plot. You have got the cultists who are sacrificing people. Uh, we find a little bit more to it than that. Um, and then presumably the second half of the game has has more plot as well. I, I, haven't, as I said I haven't got that far yet. We'll fi- I'm sure we'll find out. Sure, I'm assuming we'll find out in due time. <laughs> yes, episode two perhaps. <laughs> yeah. So this was just me um, running around in circles, as I said, or c- circles and just poking up things, trying to trying to find a way I hadn't been. Eventually, again, I did the just follow the wall around approach, um, <laughs> and it it did work. I did get out of here eventually. This isn't going to be the entire rest of the stream, I promise. <laughs> I've, I've got to smile a little to myself the, the game that I've picked for the next of this series is Did about as opposite as well? to this as you could possibly imagine <laughs> I think that's a really good thing um, because it mean, it keeps keeps it varied and adds, adds, yeah, adds a variety in <clears throat> um, how we're going to how, how, how we'll link to each other's videos is yet to be determined well I guess but we'll, but it shouldn't be too difficult uh, I was thinking of just getting someone to do some art up with both channels jointly on them or something i don't know <laughs> okay no i mean i was thinking i think actually no when you put a card on the end of a youtube video you can link to an arbitrary other video it doesn't have to be just one on your channel so once you when you release yours you can put a link on link to mine and when you release again when there's or when the second one is released we'll put links to each other's ones on there um, um well hold on that's going to be a problem though because if i've just sent one to youtube the one that i'd want to link to is your video which wouldn't have been released yet yeah, you'd have to change it once <laughs> once the next one goes up, I think, yeah. which is yeah, it isn't too difficult. Um, yeah, I'm very lost. I've ended up back where I've uh, I'd already been. So uh, at this what point, does... I was going. Oh. Do I need to go back? Surely not. I mean, the game has been very very linear so far. Um, yeah, I, th- that's what I was asking earlier. It just seemed like you were just going up and uphill, 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 uphill all the time. Yes, I, I think presume... so. It's... I haven't had any backtracking yet. The nearest there's been was noticing that I was in that the. Um, the chasm looked down over the previously explored chasm. Um, other than that, it, it is, as I said, it, it is a walking simulator, but with some sort of somewhat creepy elements in it, um, and a weird and a novel mechanic with the um, the laser thing. Um, so, yeah, it, I, I've got no idea why. Do you know? Do you know? Sometimes when you're watching a, a game and you get the idea, and you think you remember a different game you've played for a different period. I keep thinking of Earthworm Jim when I'm watching this, and I've got no idea why. <laughs> That's interesting. I, I, yeah, I can't see the similarities, but if you do work it out, let me know. <laughs> Maybe I was on some drugs when I played Earthworm Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that could fit. Oh god, I missed that one. That game as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can find it, we can have it on the channel. I, I think the problem would actually be, yeah, well, it was a Se- Sega Mega Drive for um, Earthworm Jim, I think. I don't know how you'd actually capture it. I think there was there was some Earthworm Jim games on PC because I've played them and I've never had a Mega Drive. Oh, maybe. Interesting. Um, you might have to run them through DOSBox, but you know they they, they exist. Uh, yeah, I was, I was really clutching at straws here, doing things like firing the laser through um, little Is that holes a door? in the grating oh. just to see if. I could... Oh, I see. Just to try. Yeah. So. What is on the other side? How do I get through? Let me let me get past. Oh, do you have to pull the um um the hanging the noose thing? 
No, <laughs> it's entirely static. You just have to. Eventually, spoilers. I just had to find the way round and um, stop getting so bloody lost all the time. So, so it's like so it's like a, a murder horror mate a murder horror puzzle game. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't quite call it a puzzle a, a puzzle game. The um, well, a the puzzle, puzzle is limited to don't get lost and just you know walk walk through the 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 um the the maze. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I think I found a way through. Through the door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I, I was lost in a fairly stupid way, if I'm being honest. But uh, it, it took me an embarrassing... As I say, it took me an embarrassingly long time to find my way through there. It's always shocking when you just play something randomly, just how bad you are at it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm exactly the same. I tried it I was like, oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's... Well, I suppose this is first impressions of a game. There we go, I found my way out at long last. It is first impressions of a game, and that means you're going to... Yes, we all have some sort of instincts of how to play a first-person shooter, but here we go. Yeah, so I'm going through another, across another one, the catwalks through an area I'd already been, but a catwalk higher up that I couldn't get to before. So I've got to admit, if I spawned into this particular game, I'd probably go immediately looking for a patch to fix the bug that the textures aren't displaying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... I knew what I was getting into to an extent, so it was, uh, ah, okay. It, I didn't just install and run a random game. I went, I went through looking at the store pages to find something that looked interesting and worth. That's what I did. Starting on. <laughs> you just literally started a random game. The same as when we did the little um, trial run of this year. I just picked one and went for it. <laughs> <laughs> the cultists slept an eight here. Yes, so I got into their uh, dormitory area, and then monks came after as well, apparently. Their time, time there too. Is that an abdominal bolt? Abo uh, uh, ab abominable. Abominable. God. Yeah, so a lot of the shapes around here are beds. That are, um, I don't know if I'm, I might be moving the camera around too quickly for it to be obvious, but yeah, there were some trees growing up in the middle of the cavern, which sort of breaks everything I know about nature and how trees grow, but never mind. Um, and there were beds scattered around as well, so like that one and that one. Interesting. So this was, yeah, the. Uh, the dormitory area of the um, the, the temple. A temple, that's the cultist monastery word I was looking for earlier. Um, and then the monastery later. I wonder if there is a difference between a temple and a mon monastery. I think monastery is specifically a Christian temple. Or a, a specific type of Christian temple. Um, although I suspect a Christian may disagree with me and tell me that they're uh, very different in the specific ways that I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'd have thought a temple was a more generic term. So yes, thought... exactly. Yeah. So a monastery is a sort of a specific type of temple. Although I think Sikhs have temples. They don't have a, their own... That is just the specific term they use. Um, but then also, so do cultists, as in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. <laughs> as, long long as, they don't ha as long as they don't have a crystal skull, because no one would ever do anything like that. <laughs> no, I, I can't imagine they would. No fridges either. Um, they're just for Boris Johnson. So these sort of corridors are quite nice, just running up them with the gun blazing, because you've got a feel for the shape of the rocks around you. Um, and with it on a fairly wide aperture like this, it lit the whole place up well enough that you could tell where you were going, and pretty much tell whether there were any side routes or not. Oh yeah, could be. Instantly visible? Pretty much, or at least approximately visible. Now, this is interesting. Uh, there's, I found some water at this point, and when you fire the gun into water, the, um, the spray gradually sort of fades out and disappears, <laughs> which is a really quite pretty effect. That's probably going to be completely wasted on you because you're getting three frames a second. <laughs> but I know. Me, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was actually just laughing at something else. I, I keep getting Steam notifications pop up from you know, random people playing on. But you've also got a few Steam notifications in your recorded video. Yeah, so I'm, I've got, I'm aware I've got of that. yours I... popping up and then mine on this computer in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could do with a way of hiding those, but unfortunately my screen capture software doesn't seem to be intelligent enough to capture window rather than capture um, screen, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, Oops. I don't know if it's the same for you, but if I um, capture my... I've, I've got three screens. Um, only my main screen, like the middle one, shows notifications from Discord or Steam or anything like that. Yes, but that's so if I record. But I might, I might be able to nudge them over to a different one. I'll give that a try sometime. Yeah, I, I just use one of the um, wing screens. It's not exactly as comfy to sit there, but easier than messing around with notification settings. True. Yeah, I was also trying to... Um, I, was, I wasn't I was really prepared to go in the water, because I didn't know whether I could swim. There we go, I'm, I'm risking it. 
Oh, I see the water effect. Just now, the the whole screen sort of corrupting and crackling. Um, yeah. That's that was that was creepy, but not particularly scary. It was just in a sort of a ooh, that's a bit worrying. I don't. I'm I'm not sure about this. I'm about um, to get knocked back to my next check next checkpoint. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, actually. I mean, get, yeah, getting knocked back to a checkpoint, not really that big a deal. And yet, somehow, there were bits of this game that were... Terrifying is probably too strong a word, but I was getting quite scared, even though... Yeah. There's something... Some, somehow, it's... Even though you know your The actual level of danger is waste about 30 seconds worth of playtime, it's still... You don't want to die. You don't want your character to die. And you just and you're getting really creeped out by it. That burst one is really handy. Yes. Yeah, for when you when you just run into a um a big a big cavern, it's great to just light the whole place up and get a feel for it. Well that's interesting. They used to purge witches. I'd have thought that witches was cool with them. Didn't that was No, so that, that that was probably when it was taken over by the uh, by the monks. So they reckoned they wanted to um uh, so that they will carry on using it. But the implication is there's some sort of evil malevolent force um, in the cave. Oh, no, no, no. They, they, they said it was the cave themselves, itself. Well, from the earlier thing, unless that was the cultists. I, got, I, th I read it as they were, the, cult, the cultists used the place because there was something special about the cave. Then the monastery, then the uh, the monks came later and used it for witch trials. Um, I'm getting caught in the water here. That was scary. I take it it's um, space to swim. <laughs> um, oh, jump, space to jump. Uh, jump to swim. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, so I, um, yeah, I fell in the water and was trying to scramble out onto the back onto the rocks, and I got a bit too deep into the water, and there was this sort of that, yeah, that noise, <laughs> and the figure appeared in the water, and I, um, as Jeremy Clarkson says, a bit of poo came out. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so the um, I read it, as I say, the cultists were using it for sacrifices, then the um, monks came along and sacrificed witches there. Um, there was a strong implication there's something evil about the caves, and that's why the cultists were using them and the monks were aware of it as well, and that's why and they, they were deliberately using it for that sort of sacrificial purposes. Well, I've got to admit, if I see some caves that glow, that, you know, kind of glowed this way, I, I think there was something slightly wrong as well. <laughs> Likely nuclear radiation, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, the glowing is explained by the um, 3D laser scanner thing. The um, the creepy screaming noise and the corruption and the weird figure appearing in the water. That's not so much explained by it. <laughs> I see what you mean. Uh, what's this? Purging caves. Purging caves. Hmm. In the witch trial. So, pro pro approximately 1680s. Oh, so there's quite a difference because it's only 1,000 for the temple. Yes. So it's been yeah, it's been in in use by various different um, religious things. <laughs> yeah, r cults. <laughs> well, hold on. No, we said the um, monks took it over. I'm assuming the monks would be Christian because that yes. give you a monastery as well. Yes. That, I, I don't, yes, I, I, I don't so. think the Christians would like you calling them calling call them a cult. <laughs> Perhaps not. <no. laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't try and get you in trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So eventually, I thought. Well, what can I do? I I don't know, and end up in the water before. Um, and then I got scared and just thought, no, actually, I'm not going to try this because that that again, the sort of the shimmering is the wrong word. It's sort of the, the figure has the same sort of corruption that the screen gets when you're in the water, except the figure has it on it even when the screen isn't corrupting. You know what? It'd be actually fun to get this game and try and speedrun it and record the video and just have that as a screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite interesting, yeah. And then, yeah, because you wouldn't have time to stop and spray the walls all the time. You'd just be running through with the gun running all the time and, yeah, hoping, and the bursts. hoping to see enough. <laughs> so this is another point where I was a bit stuck trying to work out where to go. Um, I can't remember what the way out of this was in the end. Um, it might have been a sort of spend a moment in the water and try to try to stay away from the creepy thing in the... I take oh, it no. you don't ever... Oh, yeah. There we go. I take it you don't ever dive in the water then? Um, I didn't. I mean, I I didn't actually try it. It was. It's one of those things where, again, like I was saying, you, you know you're not in any actual real danger and you just might lose a few seconds of progress. And there you go. The, the character is wondering whether those, those figures he was seeing could possibly be real. Just glitches. Glitches is a weird word. <laughs> 
I mean, does can glitches actually refer to anything that isn't technological? Yeah, I think he's blaming it on the on the um, the headset and and scanner thing he's using. So he's ah, okay. glitches in that tech. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I never did go for a proper swim because I was basically I was scared to, <laughs> and I'd say that's that's in, an interesting psychological thing, given that obviously no real danger, it's a computer game, etc., etc. But it was creepy and engrossing enough, and I sort of wish I played it with the lights out, um, that I didn't really want to try. I didn't I didn't want to go in the water and find out what would happen. I'm so tempted to give you alien isolation. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I don't know how well I cope with that. I'm trying to think because of other, you, other wouldn't, you wouldn't have games. played it, so I'd get the joy of watching you play it for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've, I've. I'm trying to think what else I've played that's been sort of tense and. Because it, it, yeah, I think Alien Isolation is exactly the right sort of thing for that sort of tense terror. Yeah. Um, a lot of horror games are just look here. Are, here are a load of zombies, and here's a shotgun, um, <laughs> and that's not really horror. That's just zo that's just a zombie-themed game. Um, but yes, I'm a, I'm aware that Alien Isolation is. Oh, you've, you've got Silent Hill. Uh, yeah, that's true. I've I've never really been into that into those. I suspect it. I, I don't know. It's not. Do you know what? To be honest, me neither. I mean, actually, I don't. I don't really like horror, anyway. Because <laughs> I'm a big coward. But um... yeah. <laughs> Um, I did get Alien Isolation, and I regretted that decision. <laughs> <laughs> I remember but, watching um, the first Paranormal Activity film quite a while back, and that was quite... That, I thought that was reasonably clever. Um, I think certain people I watched it with may have had nightmares afterwards. Uh, but it was... I thought it was, it was quite cleverly done, and there were bits in it that were tense and really creepy. I think I like, I like creepy over, um, over jump scares. Oh, there is. There's something that's trending at the moment. Um, Phantophobia? Plasma, phasma, phasmophobia or something like that. It's fear of ghosts. But it's okay. a co-op um, ghost um, hunting game. <laughs> shotgun Egon. Um, no shotgun. You play like... No, the I mean shot, uh, shotgun as in I, I, I pick, I want to play Egon. Oh. Mainly because he was, he was the first Ghostbuster whose name I thought of. Ah... I hope for the original game, not the remakes. Uh, yes. <laughs> that was that absolutely was another terrible brief, in every way. Brief stint, I haven't seen it. A brief stint in the water, and I'm pretty sure I saw the um, the creepy figure appear somewhere nearby. I wonder if it's tied to the water. I wonder if you spend too long in there, it'll get you. I, that's what, sort of what I was assuming, and why I didn't spend very long in the water. Um, there's a bridge over there. A bridge over very, very troubled water. <laughs> Throw um, a penny in and throw a penny and make a wish. Throw a penny and try not to hit the creepy, creepy, creepy um, humanoid shape on the head. <laughs> well, unless you've got unless you've got a really strong throwing arm and you want to turn it into a first-person shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting misborn, misborn vibes from that. Using using money as weapons. Oh god, that sets me back to school. Throwing two pences at each other. What a dumb idea. <laughs> yeah. Hooray! Sensor resolution increase. Ah, so what does this do? Basically, means I fire more beams out, so you get a better, a better view of everything you're seeing. Because it gets, oh yeah, I, and I ran into a bit of a glitch in the game here, where that that message didn't disappear. So this is rough. This is getting quite close to where I finished because I thought, well, maybe if I save and quit, then it'll go away. And it so didn't. I saved. No, I, I I saved and stopped the stopped the recording. I thought, oh oh, I've been playing for an hour and a half. I should probably stop at this point. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's um. The sense, the sense, the upgrade of the scanner up resolution upgrade has um, is quite nice. It, uh, what did you, what did you say the name of this game was again? Uh, scanner Sombra. It's curious. Oh, you can get it for six dollars on Steam. Based on my rule of thumb of it uh, of, of playing about and of wanting to get an hour per pound, I'd say it's probably not quite worth that. That said, it's interesting and. Uh, Interesting enough oh. that, to be honest, I would be quite. I, I, I would, wouldn't. I wouldn't discourage discourage you if you were interested enough to want to play it. Well, the thing is, I said it's six dollars. It's four pounds seventy nine, so rounded five pounds. Mm. 
Okay, and I reckon so it's going to be about to. three hours of play, so it's, or maybe maybe a little bit more. So yeah, it's, that's pretty close, and it's sufficiently interesting that it's um, it's worth it. I think yeah, I probably got it. Now now I'm thinking about it. I think there was a humble introversion bundle, and that's probably where I got it from. Um, yeah, it's 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 one of those games that's worth having just for the sake it's so different. Mm. Yeah, so I, 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 I I enjoyed playing it. I I, I would definitely recommend it. Um, because it's weird and different, and, and that makes it interesting and exciting. So, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'd recommend it. Cool, and I'd recommend it too because who doesn't like some free LSD? So, <laughs> <laughs> or some some four pounds LSD. Um, but it's a lot uh, by yeah. weight. <laughs> right, so I guess that's the end end of the first episode. I think if this is going to be the first episode, or, or either, either that or the second episode. Um, <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll continue playing through random weirdnesses out of our Steam collections and see how they go. I hope you'll come back for the next episode where we'll, um, well, there's going to be Demon playing. And have you decided what you're going to play? I have. Uh, mine is pretty much all ready. We could um, do the voice for it right now if you wanted, but I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, they'll. There'll be a link, uh, either which depending on who's goes up first. There'll be a link one way or the other in in uh, in, in this. So uh, yeah, go and watch his videos. I hope you've enjoyed mine, and uh, see you next time. Thanks for Cheers. watching.